Okay, a little bit different problem. It's an annuity problem, but it's an annuity due, okay? Annuity due. And when you see the word due there, you should be thinking, oh, I got to change my payment from the end of each period to the beginning, because that's what it, the due makes you do. The due makes you do, to work at the <coughs> beginning of the period instead of the end. Otherwise, it looks just like a regular annuity. So once again, we have a payment of 1050. Okay, we don't have any present value going in there. Uh, payments are for eight years compounded annually. That's a one that forces the compoundings to be one because the payments and compoundings are one. We can just simply put in the eight years, eight times one. Okay, let's double check the interest rate, three and a half. Okay, everything looks good. The only thing I got to change is I got to go down to here and press beginning because it's annuity due. And now I can go compute the future value. Ready? Alpha, solve, alpha, enter. And I get 9836939. 9836939. Nine,